Hey there guys, welcome back to Iceman Universe, and for today's reaction video, we are going to watch episode 3 of Ed, Ed & Eddie season 4. Now if you didn't watch my reaction to episode 2, it was another great episode for the season, and I liked an Ed is born out of the two segments because I just really loved how Ed was trying to you know, prove to his big brother that he's not a baby and that he's all grown up. But yeah, other than that, I'm hoping this episode will continue the great episode streak for the season, and you know, other than that, I'm just ready to, you know, get the show on the road for today. So, if you guys are enjoying my reaction series to Ed, Ed, and Eddie on my YouTube channel, then please show your support for it by hitting the like and subscribe buttons and ringing the bell to get notified for upcoming content. And, if you want to watch my full-length reaction series to Ed, Ed, and Eddie on my Patreon page, as well as get a shout-out at the beginning of every YouTube video I do, then please click the link down in the description below and become a member today. Now with that being said, let's get this reaction started. This is episode 3 of Ed, Ed, and Eddie season 4. One size fits Ed. <gasps> Sarah, come see! Is this a wishing well scam? Wowzers! It's a real wishing well, Sarah! Uh, <laughs> Buying at 25 cents a wish! I wish for Ed! I wish for my name up in lights! I want to be a star! Just make your stupid wish, will ya? <laughs> yeah, do it. Ready? Supermarket tabloids, here I come! Oh boy. <laughs> for it. Yeah, that was the magic of geometrical drafting. Yeah, that a was a very successful scam. Eddie. Did you write that down? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the cash. Taking notes is an essential part of learning. Are you touching my face? Duh. The way to a successful money-making venture requires no notes. You know who I think I am. Unfortunately. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Ed, why are you dressed like that? Oh. Guess what I am, guys. An idiot. Been there, done that, Eddie. Eddie woke me up. Not even close, Double D. I am Ed, sumo wrestler. Yeah. Oh man, Ed. This sumo stuff's gold. Go fat low. Save it for the paying customers, Lumpy. I'll be rich. What do you say? I don't think he's interested. Yeah. He's not interested, huh? Maybe Jimmy's wish would have been easier to. Oh. Jimmy, he wanted to be famous, and he looked great in a diaper. Oh. You can't wrestle. The brain can be fooled by what the eye heaves. I told you to take notes. This might be weird, but I feel like I've seen this episode before. I think I have. Yeah, when I was young. Even though I hate Jimmy, his voice has gotten better since since season one and did. Uh, Sarah's getting annoyed. She's not interested. <laughs> Whoa! Oh gosh! Oh what? Yep, I've seen it before. Thick-headed trainer is attempting to do make Jimmy San a star. Yep, they're gonna make his wish come true. The road to stardom starts with catering, kid. Yeah, what are you know? <laughs> oh, they stole Rolf's food. You took Rolf's meat locker? Oh, oh yeah. The mood, Geisha, boy. Rolf's a meat lover. What? Prima Donna. My own private stock. What? Oh, sure, boy. Work. <laughs> They're seriously gonna, like, overfeed him with that? <laughs> oh, my gosh. They're going crazy with it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Well, that's all the pieces and creeps they got. Uh, I told you I'd make them big. Just the big. And there goes his retainer. I take it to Moolaville. Uh, I look like like a sumo wrestler. Sumo oh, yeah. wrestlers are stars, Jimmy. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, yes, uh, they're highly revered within their own culture. That's true. You bet, kid. Step into the ring and. Uh, oh, he can't move. Uh, yep. I thought it would be easier to bring the ring to Jimmy. Yeah. After all, he is a star. As you are now the world famous. Uh, the world famous. Honorable. I'm a fatso Jimbo. I'm a fatso Boy, Jimbo. That was very <laughs> clever, Eddie. You want a piece of me? Now Jimmy's into it. <laughs> what the? Fatty. He went inside his belly? Come on, Ed. Quit fooling around. Yeah. What's going on down there? Oh God. I got a wiggly in my belly button. Get it out. Just yep. pop him out, I'm a fatso. Pop him. Yep. Oh, now Jimmy, you be careful. Please. Yep. I've seen this episode before. It's all coming back now. Wow. Hey, kid, you're a star. I'm a star. Sumo 
wrestlers are revered. In Japan. Yep. You'll have legions of fans who will cater to your every whim. In Japan. Yes. Yep. You're okay, saying Eddie doesn't. Double you're saying Eddie doesn't know that. Fight. Sumo wrestlers are revered, celebrated, and affluent only in Japan. Duh. Eddie's the man with the. <laughs> How are we supposed to go to Japan? You, you never thought of that, have you, Eddie? There's no way of sending you. Your brain's not as big as Double D's, Eddie. All right. And you should be glad you're not as dumb as Ed. What? Oh my gosh! They're gonna try to. They're gonna try to okay, stuff him in the mailbox. Looks good to me. <laughs> Didn't work? Of course it didn't, Eddie. Duh. In Jimmy's immense proportions, the mailbox was bound to burst. Oh. The sumo scam didn't have a chance. Oh, geez. I'm afraid not, Eddie. And you knew it. <laughs> oh, gosh. I quit. Oh, no. No, Eddie. You said I was a star. I wear that hat. Okay, forget double trip. It's the pattern bust, I tell you. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. Be a star. Well, Double D's not interested. All aboard is going aboard! <laughs> They're seriously gonna slingshot him oh, to Japan? Ask me if I care, Ed. Last chance, Double D! He's not interested. Break a leg? Big time, here I come! Ready for launch, Ed! I'd be shocked that they even get Almost extreme air. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Great! That is one of the funniest moments I've ever seen. It's, oh man, you know what? I need to see it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Wow! Oh man! Seriously, Ed? Don't play with the bed, Ed. Oh, Eddie got the worst of it. You haven't learned a thing, have you, Eddie? Move it, Chunky! I want to see some swag, mister! What the? Oh my I gosh! To explode. I just learned something today, Double D. We should open up a weight loss clinic. I'd be rich. Stupid gas. I certainly learned something. Eddie is the man with the blood. Yes, he is. <laughs> Pain in the Ed. If I've seen One Size Fits Ed, I've definitely seen this one. Hey, okay, yeah, what? <laughs> I hate it when you do that. Virility? I've never heard that word before. Everyone knows Harry Pitts are a sure sign of manliness, Double D. Wow, Eddie, is that a carpet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, like the neighbor kids are dumb enough to buy that. Hey, Ignoroid! Who's more mature now, huh? Uh... <laughs> The dork's fake and puberty. I hate you, Kevin, but I agree with you. He wishes he had fur like this. Kindergarten. <laughs> Ouch. I hate it when they catch on. So now what? Oh, wow. Oh, um, we could call on Ed. Oh, bother, Double D. He is not home. Nice carpet, Eddie. <laughs> now, let's see. Yep, I've seen it before. Starts like... by planting your toes, placing your left foot right. Why, Ed? I didn't know you played an instrument. What's Ed doing with a ukulele? It's a violin, a Eddie. Violin, Eddie, whose delicate tone can emit a diverse range of emotion. Oh boy. <laughs> <G. laughs> a little cat and dog with Aww. a little practice. No. Yep, G. Eddie's gonna try to destroy it. Violins are for sissies. My mom says I gotta practice or. I'm sure you'll agree, Niccolo Paganini is no a sissy, Eddie. Revel in the violin's resonance. <laughs> oh my! Charlie's enjoying it. Oh yeah. Yeah, it sucks. I can tell how bad it sounds. That's Double T's hat. Uh -huh. I was right. Ed stinks. Oh, come on, Eddie. This is a good thing. It sounds like a trapped cat. Ed should. Practice. Wait, Eddie, don't get to <laughs> play with controller game. <laughs> oh dear. Oh man. What the? Uh oh. It's like an elephant's off your back, huh, Lumpy? Yes. Oh no. You're supposed to be practicing. I am so confused. Oh. Get out of my room, you. Move it. Eddie, Sarah's here. We already See, know. I am practicing, Sarah. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, it's pretty bad. You're as sly as a fox, girlfriend. That's oh, jeez. Oh, Sarah wants Jimmy to be her bitch boy. You know, Eddie, we seem to have company, Eddie. A direct line to Sarah should anything go amiss. Come on, Ed. Let's find a quiet spot and tune that violin. <laughs> okay, Ed. Let me have it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing when it sounds horrible. Practice, I must, or Sarah, my head will bust. Oh boy. Ugh. Yeah, you're not fooling anyone, bitch boy. Yeah. Get lost. No! I hate violins. That instrument has a legacy. Yeah, violins have been around for hundreds of years. No! I told you to stay out of it! Very well then, succumb to your lowbrow tactics. But before you violate the violin, Eddie. Ugh. Um, Ed! Oh, brother. Shouldn't you be practicing? Ah! <laughs> oh, Ed is twitching. Oh, double D. Yes. Let's use a chainsaw! What if an accident were to befall Ed's violin? Were to happen in plain view for Sarah at all to see. Oh, oh I get it! What do Whatever I do? idea, Double D. The statue of Ederty. Why is the lady of what an ice? Oh, come on, guys. I think it's cute. We'll all have our wish come true after this, Eddie. So, yeah, they're gonna make it look like an accident for eh, by destroying the violin. Yep. <laughs> Oh. Position and pose starts by fanning your toes and Here we go. <laughs> oh my god, it destroyed Kevin's bike! <laughs> I'm loving this. Whoa. <laughs> oh man. It's a surprise, Eddie. He's got a loophole. Go, baby, go. Come on, come on. A very powerful magnet. Safe to eat. Oh wow. Oh man. Oh! It missed! Oh no! My computations were precise. Eddie's not gonna buy it, Double D. Uh, Come on. This goes beyond science, Eddie. That the violin shall not be harmed and produce wonderful. It was you! Yep. Me? <laughs> Don't hide it, Double the D. Violin's pulp. Oh jeez. <laughs> okay, fine. I confess. Yep. It was I that sabotaged the plan. How could I just let you deface this exceptional display of man? You double crosser! Yep. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! What have I done? Oh, they're dead people. Dad, I'm telling Sarah. No, don't tell little buddy. Violins are for sissy. Oh, Why screw you, like Eddie. Instrument? Like a kazoo or something. Okay, that's no what? better. Uh, Sarah's here. Sarah's here. Dad, yeah. oh. Dad, no, it's not Ed's away. fault. Oh, wow. A lot funnier than I remember it to be. All right, guys, that was episode three of Ed, Ed, and Eddie season four, and by far, best episode of the season. I mean, as for best segment, I have to give the edge to One Size Fits Ed, because even though I hate Jimmy's guts for what he did and if it smells like an Ed, no, I really liked how you wanted to be a star and that the Eds, you know, tried everything they could to make him by having him become a sumo wrestler. But, and the way his physique looked, he could have, like, he could probably would have won the competition had they, had they been able to go to Japan. But, yeah, that scene where they actually tried to slingshot Jimmy to Japan only for him to get little air and pretty much, you know, crush Ed and Eddie, that, that killed me. That was awesome. And... As for Pain in the Ed, you know, it was pretty funny too, like, I just couldn't help but laugh, you know, seeing how, how horrible Ed was at playing the violin, but still, that was definitely super enjoyable, and 
like probably my favorite episode of the season so far because it's pretty early so yeah time will tell if there's an episode better than this but um yeah that's pretty much all i have to say for this episode so if you guys did enjoy this one so much and you want to see more Ed, Ed, and Eddie on my YouTube channel, then please show your support by hitting the like and subscribe buttons and commenting down below what you thought of this episode. And if you want to watch my full-length reaction series to Ed, Ed, and Eddie on my Patreon page and get a shout out as a patron on, my, and the, on the beginning of every YouTube video, like I said at the start, then please click the link down in the description below and become a member today. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.